where is our booming economy headed in the next year? The latest Fox News poll shows 32% of voters say it will get better. 37% say eh, it'll stay the same. And just 27% say it's going to get worse. It's no secret that it has been on an upswing. GDP grew 3.1% over the last three quarters. And the Labor Department reported the fewest number of Americans on unemployment in 44 years. My next guest says... It's all thanks to capitalism, the free market, and President Trump. He's the author of The Capitalist Comeback, The Trump Boom, and The Left's Plot to Stop It, former Labor Secretary nominee Andy Puzder. Welcome to the show. Great to be here, Kennedy. Thank you for having me. So, you know, I, I agree with you in that it, it seems as though even if there is economic success enjoyed on, uh, you know, throughout the entire economic strata, that there are leftists who will stand in the way because they don't like the president. And that's really sad. Well, it's not only that they don't like the president, but if after really the, the terrible economy that we had under President Obama, if President Trump is successful, it, you know, it puts the lie to this notion that, uh, that, that wealth is a zero-sum game, that the, wealth, that the wealthy get wealthier only if the poor get poorer. It's, it's more like what John Kennedy said, which is that rising economic tide lifts all boats. And if they, we show that, the progressives are in trouble. They'll be in trouble like they were after the Reagan administration, where it took, what, another 18, 20 years to elect a progressive to convince the people that big government was good for them? Because it's not. No, it, it's absolutely not. And that's where you get more regulation. And, you know, I know you've taken issue with Dodd-Frank. Oh, yeah. And, you know, these big banks are essentially getting a pass from legislation that was supposed to protect consumers and was supposed to protect small banks, but it has done neither. Now, this is, I mean, I talk about this in the book, too. I, I ran a big company. I mean, it was 100,000 employees. We're in 40 countries, 45 states. But it was a big company made up of small companies because we had a lot of franchisees that had, you know, between one and maybe 100 restaurants. Wow. So I was dealing with small businesses all the time. And they were getting killed by Dodd-Frank because the community banks they relied on for funding were closing. I mean, that is so criminal because a lot of times, you know, small businesses, small investors and homeowners had to go to a person they knew in their town in order to get approved for a loan exactly. to circumvent some of that process, which was decimated by Dodd-Frank. Yeah, Dodd-Frank really took the big banks that were too big to fail and made them even bigger. So they're even more of a threat to the economy. We need, there's, look, there's so many changes. When I used to come on shows like yours over the Obama administration years, all we talked about was people don't have enough jobs. Uh, people are dropping out of the labor force. They're working part-time. They're working entry-level jobs at your restaurants, Andy, and they can't make a living. Well, that was because we didn't have real economic growth. If you think about it, in the past 16 months, we, President Trump, with his, with his capitalist approach to the economy, deregulation, taxes, encouraging business, mm -hmm. we, that's been turned completely on its head. You pointed to one statistic. We have fewer people on unemployment benefits than we've had in 44 years. We also have more job openings than we've had ever. And, and what has happened to the labor uh, participation, labor force participation labor rate? Part, pa labor force participation rate has held, but the percentage of the population that's employed has gone up. Yes. We have more people employed than we've ever had and more job openings Would than we've ever had. Would we have this kind of GDP growth under President Hillary Clinton? No, we would not have had this kind of GDP growth. But the point in all this is the problem now we're facing isn't people looking for jobs. It's employers trying to fill good-paying positions because they can't find employees. This is the capitalist comeback. This is what I wrote yeah, about. Yeah, so naturally wages go up when you're wages. out looking for good people to fill those positions. Wages will go up. And even the CBO, which is really kind of a Keynesian approach, they, gave, they give credit to the tax cuts this year. They say we're going to have 3.3% GDP growth. As you say, we've averaged 3.1%. Uh, President Obama's last year was 1.5 percent. 1.5 for his last year in office. Uh, socialism, unreal. progressives, policies do not work. 